Hi everyone, welcome to the introduction of NIDDB Data Lake House Edition webinar. I am Jesse, a product manager of NIDDB in the database business unit of Alibaba Cloud. Let me close my camera so we can see the slides directly. Okay, let's begin. In this webinar, we will firstly go through the business trends and the challenges in data analysis industry and introduce the release of our Data Lake House edition. So let's get into the business trends and challenges. In recent years, we are seeing a trend of explosive data growth and increase of diverse data formats. So with a large volume of data is ingested into data warehouses, batch ETL offline processing such as data filtering or data cleaning is required for data analysis product and with the diverse formats is ingested into data warehouses. We are seeing the trend to convert unstructured or semi-structured data into structured data and also provide machine learning algorithms to perform predictive analysis. While we are also seeing challenges for traditional data analysis hierarchy to solve the problem of data consistency and data timeliness. In traditional data analysis hierarchy, there could be data loss and inconsistency in case of errors during data synchronization to lead to inferior data consistency problems. Besides, the latency during data synchronization may significantly decrease data timeliness. The two copy of data generated during data synchronization results in redundancy which increases storage cost and also the operation and maintenance load. We are also seeing the high cost of traditional hierarchy. Users cannot take full use of the computing resources because of offline batch ETL processing is performed during the night while real-time ad hoc analysis is performed during the day. Data Lake House Edition, which is designed to solve these problems. After nearly a year of development based on the Data Warehouse Edition, NLDB for MySQL released the Data Lake House Edition that can deliver both low cost batch processing and high performance real time analysis. Data Lake House Edition provides higher performance for the entire life cycle of data, including collection, storage, computing, management, and consume the data. In terms of collection, NLDB Pipeline Service, APS, is provided to implement low-cost data assets to sources like databases, logs, and big data platforms. In terms of storage, the hoodie format is supported for data storage in external tables, and internal storage is optimized. One copy of data can be used for both batch processing and real-time analysis. In terms of computing, the SQL BSP SQL engine that is developed in-house by Alibaba Cloud is optimized to improve fault tolerance and operational and management capabilities. In addition, the open source Spark engine is introduced that can be handled more complex scenarios for batch processing and machine learning. Data Lake House Edition is designed to help customers reduce costs and improve efficiency through two capabilities, integrated resources and consistent user experience. Integrated resources are implemented through three features, one data, automated scalability, and integrated engines. For one data, which means there will be only one copy of data that is being used for real-time analysis and offline processing. This ensures the data consistency and improves the data timeliness. We also provide extreme scalabilities. Scheduled scaling is designed for the real-time analysis and on-demand scaling for workload that is designed for offline batch processing, the ETL jobs. We also have the integrated engines. The engines integrated increase the MPP and the BSP models so that it can perform both real-time analysis and offline batch processing on one data. Consistency user experience is implemented through four features. Unified billing units, which is ACU. NDB measures data analysis capabilities in NITB Compute Units ACUs, which is simplifies the resource management. APS, the low-cost and the cost-efficient data 
loading through NLTB pipeline service APS, which supports data sources like databases, logs, and big data platforms. Unified data management, which provides unified metadata and permission management. Unified data access, provides data access APIs to deliver a unified data access experience. So for better memorabilities, I use 1024, the date of Programmer's Day, to summarize the selling point of Data Lake House Edition. One refers to the one data copy. It can prevent issues in data consistency, timelessness, and the redundancy caused by data synchronization. Zero refers to automatic scalabilities. It best assures the requirements for business workloads in service mode to ensure query performance and reduce resources costs. Two indicates that data lake house addition can meet requirements for both low-cost batch processing and high-performance real-time analysis. Four refers to four features of consistent user experience, which means unified billing units, unified data pipeline, unified data management, and unified data access. Now I will introduce the details of some major selling points. So first of all, one copy of data. One copy of data is stored in the OSS that provides local and high throughput capabilities to meet batch processing requirements. For offline batch processing jobs, full data interacted with OSS in a pen write or rough read mode, which provides local storages, the full data is stored in OSS, local IOs, the full data is directly read and write with OSS bypass the EIUs and the resources isolations. Real-time data analysis isolated from the offline batch processing. And for real-time data analysis, real-time data is stored in EIUs that can be added, removed, or modified by row. The system creates inverted indexes for full data and automatically cached frequently accessed data. This improves the query performance and meets real-time analysis requirements. And for zero, the Data Lake House Edition intimates the extreme scalability that is characterized by efficient scaling policies, sufficient resource storage, and high scaling efficiencies. This best shares the requirements for business workloads, ensure the query performance, and reduce the resources cost. The Data House Edition provides scheduled scaling for real-time data analysis and on-demand scaling for batch processing and machine learning jobs. We use the tire ring resources hierarchy to build the resources on X-Dragons, ESECS, and Elastic Container Inter Instances, ECIs, to ensure the elastic resource delivery. Besides, we are also using the cache acceleration and the resources pooling techniques to ensure the scaled resources take effective within 10 seconds. Aside from the one data copy, the SQL Interactive Computing Engine also contributes to support for both batch processing and real-time analysis scenarios. The SQL Engine provides both the MPP and the BSP mode that allows the automatic switchovers. If MPP queries access the query threshold, it will automatically switch to be executed in the BSP mode. Besides, to ensure the higher resources utilization, each workload supports logical isolation, which is sharing the same resources pool for flexible resources dispatching. Of consistent user experience, which means unified billing units, unified energy pipeline service, APS, unified data management, and unified data access. We will give detailed introduction of the APS and the data access part. Basically, data synchronization is the first step of data analysis. However, this is subject to many pain points, such as high complexities. Data is stored in data silos. Different tools are required to synchronize data to data lakes. High costs. Each data source uses reserved resources for synchronization. High skill set. SQL or coding is required to sync data to data lake in the hoodie format. So to solve these pain points, 
we optimize synchronization tools and build a AnalytiDB pipeline service APS components for small and medium-sized enterprises. APS is built on the real-time Flink engine and can provide easy-to-use, low latency, and low-cost data access experience. GUI-based utilities simply write a configuration for data synchronization, so no code or code development is required for data synchronization. We also provide table-level synchronizations, which supports table-level sync for flexible granularities of synced objects, and we also support wireless and backlist for different scenarios. Low latency. The combination of Flink CDC technologies and on-demand scaling capabilities ensures the low synchronization latencies. Low costs. With the shared resources for multiple synchronization tasks, we also use the unified ACUs with the on-demand scaling. Besides from that, we also provide unified data access with the error memory formats. With unified data access, we provide unified metadata and permissions, which break the data silos for more comprehensive business data analysis. And we also provide unified APIs with the unified read and write APIs to meet the data access requirements for internal and external storages. We also provide unified formats with the cross-platform really unified memory data exchange format arrow for third-party open source engines data access, such as Spark, Presto, and TensorFlows. We have the efficient access with the RPC transition protocols for high-throughput scenarios. Besides from that, NIDB also ensures we have the open source integrations. Let me first introduce the background of an open source hoodie and then explain why we choose to integrate it with hoodie. So the row store data formats such as CSV and JSON and the column store data formats such as Parquet and ORC only support append operations but not update operations. As a result, binary logs of OLTP operations cannot be synchronized in real time to ensure data consistencies. So the hoodie provides near real-time data writes by using batch inserts or updates per operations. Hoodie has the following benefits. It can have the data stored in the OSS with low costs. It has the ACID guaranteed for transactions. It provides a time travel feature that is supported to query historical data or rollback data to a specific point of time. It has the schema evolution supported. It also supports copy on write and merge on read features that provides near real time data analysis. In case you wanted to store the data in or customize the OSS bucket, we integrate Hoodie that can provide near time read data batch updates and can be consumed by our in house developed CHA engine or other third party engine like Spark. We are also integrated with Spark which is the distributed computing engine that is provided for data and aggregate engineers, which support a variety of programming languages, such as Python, Scala, Java, and R. By integrating with Spark, it provides all the BI and AI ecosystems to the NIDDB by using the TensorFlow, ARM, PyTorch, Pandas, and so on. It also integrated with the Superset, Power BI, Looker, Rehash, Tableau, and the DBT, SQL Analysis, and BI tools. We supported the typical scenarios, such as APP iterations, data migration, data aggregation, and the data transformations for the batch processing offline data analysis scenarios. We also support user action-based AD display interaction queries and the BI reports for the typical OLAP real-time analysis online processing part. A typical like industry use case is the FinTech one, which you can find on the right-hand side with the whole diagram of how the customer is using AnalyDB. So what's the next step? Getting started with the AnalyDB of MySQL. AnalyDB for MySQL Data Lake House Edition is open for preview. Please register your interest through the NDB for MySQL portal and give it a try. Thank you so much.